exposure to certain fragrances during sleep dramatically boosts cognitive function. And I was wondering when I was watching Netflix series about Asian cultures, you know, those historical series, that many a time the uh, servants would come in and open an incense burner in the room, fragrances all the time, whether they were sleeping or working or relaxing. So exposure to certain fragrances during sleep dramatically boosts cognitive function. All of these senses we love to indulge, sense is often neglected, but the right smell could just be what our brain needs to keep it wearing in old age. Researchers at the University of California, Irvine, recently uncovered strong evidence that enriching the air with fragrances improves cognitive performance by strengthening the critical connection between neurological areas involving memory and decision making. Now, I remember, well, most of the time, uh, I'm not doing it lately, but I used to have uh, scented candles, usually apple uh, cinnamon, fantastic smell. Uh, now, their experiment involving 43 men and women aged 60 to 85 suggests cognitive decline in conditions such as dementia might be slowed by simply diffusing a different choice of perfumes through the bedroom before bed each night, keeping the old gray matter stimulated as we age is vital to maintaining good cognitive health. That does not mean just keeping up with a daily crossword. It means peppering our environment with all kinds of sights and sounds for the brain to chew on. For other animals, enriching the environment with indoors so has been shown to stimulate neuroplasticity, especially in tests involving animals with human-like symptoms to neurological disorders. It's not exactly a stretch to believe humans could also benefit from experiencing a complex scent scape. Physiologically speaking, our ability to detect smells deteriorates before our cognitive ability begins to decline. Losing this sense also correlates with a loss in brain cells, hinting at a strong connection between smell and the neurological function. The olfactory sense has the special privilege of being directly connected to the brain's memory circuits, says neurobiologist Michael Yassa. All other senses, all the other senses are rooted first through the thalamus. Everyone has experienced how powerful aromas are and evoking recollections even from very long ago. However, unlike with vision changes that we treat with glasses and hearing aids for hearing impairment, there has been no intervention for the loss of smell. To determine whether cognitive decline can be saved with this kind of sensory stimulation, Yasa and his colleagues provided 20 of the study's recruits with an assortment of natural oils containing fragrances of rose, orange, eucalyptus, lemon, peppermint, rosemary, and lavender. The rest of the group were provided with a sham that contained trace amounts of an odorant. All other participants were required to use one of the oils with a diffuser to perfume their home for two hours every night over a six-month period, rotating through their menu of fragrances. A battery of neurological tests was then used to compare the volunteer's memory verbal learning, planning, and attention switching skills before and after the six-month trial. Astonishingly, there was a clear 226% difference between the responses provided by those who were exposed to a variety of frequencies and individuals in the control group. A scan of their brains also revealed a significant change in the anatomy linking areas of the brain critical in memory and thinking within the test group. As all of the volunteers were a similar sound mental health, the researcher's aim is now to see if the results continue to hold for people already diagnosed with a degree of cognitive loss. No matter what age or state of mind, giving your nose something to do when the lights go out and the silence sets in is not exactly an unpleasant way to exercise the mind at night. This was published in Frontiers in Neuroscience and is by Mike McRae on Science Alert. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I really support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. 
You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.